Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you how to sew your very own mask. Masks are not important in protecting yourselves, but also protecting others. This is why if everyone wears a mask, we can greatly slow down viruses like coronavirus and just other common viruses. So, let's get into the materials that you'll need to sew your very own mask. You will need two 6x9 inch pieces of fabric, two 7 inch pieces of elastic, a needle and a thread, or a sewing machine. I will be using a sewing machine. So let's get into the first step. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take each fabric and lay it face to face. Now we are ready to sew. Now we're going to sew the fabric along the long edges. So you lift your presser foot, place your fabric there with a little bit of a inseam, and then you're going to sew. Then make sure to back stitch. Now you're going to lift it up and repeat the same to the other side. Now we're going to put the elastic inside so we can sew it. So you take the elastic and kind of turn it so that it's in this way, like this, by just taking the ends and creating a loop type of form. And then you put it in between the two layers and just put it in there, making sure each part of the elastic goes to the corners, all the way to the corners, and you should have a little bit left out on the side. And then you'll do the same thing to the other side. Put a little bit in. And put it out to each side. Leaving a little bit out on each side. Then it should look like this. If you have clips or pins around, you can clip or pin the elastic down to make it extra secure. This makes the sewing process easier. Now we are going to sew the first short side. So we are going to go forward. Then we're going to back stitch to make the elastic secure. Then go forward again till we get to the next elastic. Then we're going to back stitch it a couple of times to make it secure. Then you cut the threads. On to the other side. First we will sew. Then we're going to back stitch and go forward. Then we're going to pull up the needle. And then lift the presser foot, go down a little bit, put the presser foot down, and then now we're going to sew, back stitch, and then go forward. And now we are done with this side. Now it is time to turn the mask right side out. So using the hole you made before, you will turn it right side out. This clip is sped up, but it still helps you get the general idea. Then it should look like this. But don't forget about the corners! Now you can pin or clip your pleats. So I've pleated one side and clipped it, so now I'm going to show you how to do the other. Fold your pleat, then use the clip getting on both sides of the fabric. Then repeat the same thing and clip that pleat again, clipping both sides of the fabric. Now your pleats are clipped or pinned and you're ready for the next step. So now you're going to stitch this all around and when you're pivoting, make sure your needle is down, lift the presser foot, pivot, and then go straight across. Again, make sure your needle's down, pivot. Then press your foot down. Needle down. Pivot. Go over. Needle down. Pull. And down. And then you're just going to separate it. Lift it up. And then you can cut your threads. Now here is the finished product. This is your mask. Thank you for watching the video. Now you know how to make your own mask at home with just a few simple materials.